Kawasan Falls. Easily Cebu's most recognizable waterfall is a multi-tier cascade that boasts of clear turquoise water and natural pools. Sitting at the foot of Mantalongon Mountain Range, Kawasan Falls surroundings consist of gorgeous lush scenery and steep limestone canyon walls fit for the great outdoor adventure. That is why the boutique adventurer travel blog of an Australian blogger, Amanda O'Brien, named it as one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the world in 2022. And that is why foreign and domestic tourists would love to flock to the southern Cebu towns of Badian, Alegria, Malabuyok, and Hinatilan and pay good money to experience the canyoneering adventures that follow a river trail that eventually ends at the majestic Kawasan Falls. All that cliff diving, taking a plunge and savoring the little waterfall, and natural water slides, and navigating the challenge in an unaltered natural landscape. But as they say, if there would be no law that would regulate man's affairs with nature, Nature itself will assert its right to exist, flourish, regenerate its vital cycles, and naturally evolve without human-caused disruption. So, before nature unleashes its fury, Governor Gwendolyn F. Garcia, in close coordination with Badian Mayor Carmencita Lumain, decided to put a temporary stop to the tourism activities in Badian last June to give way to the rehabilitation works that Kawasan Falls badly needed. For one, there remains in the area surrounding the falls and its canyoneering trails, dangerous debris and ruins left by Super Typhoon Odette in December 2021. These hazardous metallic spikes, as well as structures illegally built within the defined easement zones, pose peril to the public something which the capital could not take sitting down. While the closure order was being enforced, the capital took the opportunity to professionalize the conduct of tour guiding and canyoneering operations by requiring the stakeholders to undergo proper safety and professional trainings with the Department of Tourism. Today, 831 canyoneering and tour guides who finally finish their training modules will graduate after going through lectures and physical trainings in three separate batches conducted by the regional office of the DOT, fully capacitating them to better the handling of guided tours in and around Kawasan's exciting canyoneering trails. The rehabilitation works on Kawasan has also been complete so that the capital finally lifts today the temporary closure and suspension of tourism activities in Barangay Matutinao, Badian, Cebu, and its operations is now going to be handled by the Cebu Provincial Government. The Provincial Government doubles down on its commitment of prioritizing people's safety over profit by distributing GSIS Group Accident Insurance benefit to these tour guides. This insurance, whose premium is paid for by the capital, would give them hospitalization coverage in the event of any untoward incident. This is capital's way of looking out for the welfare and benefit of these Zabuanos who also risk their lives in ensuring that tourists would have the authentic Kawasan experience. Through the years, we have seen how Kawasan Falls have evolved from the first three terms of Governor Gwen Garcia to now. All's well that ends well. The municipality of Badian rose above the challenge of self-actualization by facilitating the continued personal and professional development of its people. The Adventures in Kawasan promises to be an even better and more exciting experience with safe, secure, and sustainable tourism initiatives and practices now in place. So hold on to your ropes, snug fit your helmets, and ready your gears. Because starting today, Badian is open and canyoneering is back with a vengeance.